After a huge win in Game 1, we have an exciting Game 2 between two first-round draft picks. Shout out to Miami's Slade Ciccone. Was drafted 33rd overall to the Arizona Diamondbacks. And North Carolina first baseman slugger Aaron Sabato was picked 27th overall to Minnesota. So we've got plenty of matchups to watch in this game. I need to come out strong. That first game of the series was crazy. Chris McMahon on the mound. Pitched pretty well. He had some tough spots. The lead went back and forth. I just can't believe the way it ended. Truly a fantastic college baseball game. And this is a great way to get started. I've got to go three on this. We've got to get that sponsor challenge. We've got to get the new cleats. We're going three. We're going three. Tony Jenkins, get it going. Okay, that didn't work. That did not work, guys, but I've got to get that triple. A triple in this series, and I get new cleats from the sponsor. We didn't get it in game one. We've got to get it in game two here. It's only a two-game series with the Tar Heels. I'll figure out how to wait, how to get a triple. I'm a little disappointed. That should have been it. Here's a look at the lineup. Del Castillo's climbing in home runs. I'm trying to get ACC Player of the Year with him. But this is exciting. I'm excited. Again, we're going with Slate Ciccone. First round draft pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's on the mound. We're going to talk about Slade. I'll talk about my conversation with Gino Damari. We got to go two on this. Got speed, got wheels. Dig. What in the world is happening this inning? What is going on with our speed? We've got to get those new cleats. We've got to get more speed from our guys. I didn't know I'd ever say that. I don't know what happened that first inning. We're in Chapel Hill, and I don't know if it's the fences or these guys have strong arms or what. But here it is, new member of the Arizona Diamondbacks organization, assuming he signs the projected slot value is about two and a half million for Slade. That's great. Only, only two seasons at Miami, and really only a year and a half. It's a shallow center. So it's impressive to see. Oh my goodness, that should have been an out. Okay, that's all right. Slade, you guys saw it on the live stream. I nearly, I wouldn't say nearly threw it, but I, you know, Slade on the mound, no hitter through five. And then, of course, first batter of the game, they get a bloop hit. That's the way it works. That's okay. So we're going to, the big thing about Slade. So if you're a Diamondbacks fan, you want to know, who is Slade Ciccone? Who is this guy? You know, towards the end of the year, I caught up with Adrian Del Castillo, the catcher. And I was curious what he had to say about the pitchers. Where was it? Okay. We go first and third on that. I don't know why our shortstop. I don't know why Zamora wasn't. Okay. This is what it is. Here's Sabato. 99 power against right-handed pitchers. We've got to lock in here. Trying to find those cold zones. Get there, Rivera. Oh, my goodness. And that, that scores a run. That's tough. He, I cannot get this guy out. The first game was like this. Even when I got, a, got him out, he hit it hard. So. so they got the lead here again. They were up 1-0 in the first game, too, in the first inning. But I'll lock in here. The one thing Del Castillo said about Slade... It's just that he throws multiple pitches. Was the big thing that stood out with Slade. And the big thing about his development. Again, so his first season, he was a starter, mainly midweek guy. Got an opportunity there in the NCAA tournament. And pitched well. But really, oh my goodness. Oh my God. That is crushing. That one hurts. D Dylan, oh my. And again, North Carolina, real rosters, just like Miami. 
just kept going. Carries it out for a big and, home run. Oh my goodness. Dylan hit a three-run homer. We're down 4-0. We don't have any outs. And now they're just getting base hits. Uh, um, this is supposed to be... I wouldn't say a Slade Ciccone draft hype video or anything, but I need to, I don't see what, they're just, I don't understand what's going on here. Oh my goodness. And this isn't working. This is, I wanted to talk all this positive stuff about Slade and we can still talk positive, but I can't get, I can't get things going right in this first inning. Man. Okay. We need to get some outs here, guys. And right up, what is going on here? I mean, they're just loading up on base hits. We can't get any outs. They got four runs across. He didn't want to hear from the pitching coach. Told JB he wasn't happy. He didn't want to hear it. That's okay. Okay, we we certainly are in the middle of a grind on this one. That's for sure. Okay, we can. This will be an out. Get out there, Freddie. Okay, good. Good speed out of Freddie. A shortstop. I want to talk about Freddie in the draft in a little bit. First, we need to talk about Slade. Again, freshman All-American last year. Primarily a midweek guy. Big six four six five guy. When he stepped foot on campus, he was a highly regarded prospect. And right it was side. a big deal that Miami got him. And it was pretty obvious. I remember the oh, fall camp there. Ball Just ball pretty ball. obvious at the first glance at seeing him. You understand why people liked him. Uh, big, tall, right-handed power pitcher. You know, this year, he was clocked up to 97. I think that was the highest this season he was at but again mid mid to upper 90 fastball throws multiple pitches last fall he was working on his cut fastball he was working on the cutter that was a huge double play guys we needed that i don't i'm still just i don't know what happened that inning so they get four six hits okay okay they tack on more runs now take We'll we'll bounce we'll bounce back. I need your support. Drop a like. We need you to Wide definitely hit the, the right like on these videos here, retired. guys. It really helps spread the word. Number we got to get the word out on next. Slate Sacconi. First round pick for Miami. First one. First pitcher Nobody since 2008. And one gone. Oh and one. I'll let you guys think about it on who that pitcher was. The last first rounder by Miami was Zach Collins. Catcher went 10th overall to the Chicago White Sox in 2016. Zach's already in the majors. Great to see that. Okay. We need. I don't want to press at the plate. Being down four. There we go. Okay, we got to get a double out of this one. Okay, come on, Gabe. Get to second. He'll try for two. He'll throw to second. There we go. He's that first inning, I don't think that's – that definitely hasn't happened in one inning before. I don't know if that's happened twice, and I just can't. Okay, There's did we get that? It is long this dude, Mike Anthony Valdez, this guy is crazy. Well, just putting him in there for Raymond like Gill, and the guy has been so pass. hot. Stay hot, Valdez. Two-run homer. It out for a big home run. I don't know how many guys on the season. Maybe three or four, That's but it's all come in bunches game. in these last week or so. Five, six, seven games, whatever it's been. But, man, Number I cannot believe how well he's hitting it. We need that. That's a two-run home. Okay, we're only down 4-2. Oh. This one's low. Only down 4-2. There we go. And we got Villar back in the starting lineup. Oh, I need to hit that. It always takes a little bit to get kind of accustomed to the new pitchers. There we go. That might drop. 
That's okay. He's that's a solid hit by, by Villar. Solid contact. Four runs on six hits. Okay. Gets a strike with the fast ball at the knees. I think the one thing about um, just more on Slade. It's a okay, they, these guys are just loading up on hits. He's on with a single. Starting to get a little Number frustrated with it. I'm trying to go to their cold zones. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, low and But low. um, yeah, so good six four six five guy, about 220 pounds. Power arm. Not a ton of experience. Only got four starts this season. Obviously, with every with college baseball being shut down, but only the four. And then last year, he started 13. And again, most of those are midweek games. My goodness. I don't understand what's going on with our defense here. I haven't seen that the, the, all season long. I mean, the base hits are going right where guys aren't. I need to figure out what's going on with our defense. I feel like our alignment is just off or something. I don't know what's going on. They just don't seem like they're in the right position on these ground balls. We need to figure out what's going on. Fastball at the knees for a strike. But Slade really impressed at the Starkville Regional last year at Mississippi State. Went seven innings. And I know when I talked to Gino about that, or, and when he talked about that after he, multiple times, even though Miami didn't come out of the regional and, you know, didn't win that game, but he just felt like that was such a big moment in Slade's career moving forward just gave him so much confidence in, heading into year two okay there we go the that's got to be a double play the there we go Villar turning another double play that's huge for, for the these out. innings great execution on that double play to get two big outs again had a little trouble defensively okay okay we got a Matuero in the first game so maybe Villar's just a little bit better defender it's already seen it in the first two innings here at least with those double plays there we go, Sabato. Big time power. The twins drafting them 27th overall. Really cool to see these two guys going at it. First round picks. Both of them are always going to remember this series on draft day where they got drafted and playing against each other. I'm just kidding. They're not even going to know. They're not even going to know this is happening. Maybe you guys will remember. Pitch. And I, th oh my goodness, we need to catch a break. I like to the the way it's kind of going here. The key for me right now is again getting hits, do what I do, but I just get the score even. That's a one out single. Going down 4 0 in the first. Definitely want to just try to get it even there. And I'm going to keep being aggressive. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll get to third on that, though. Almost beat that out. Oh, my goodness. All right, Freddie needs a base hit. Oh, that was terrible. But anyways, Freddie's one to watch with the draft. He's been kind of a top 100 guy in a lot of the prospect list. But the thing is, he's hurt. And he was going to be out for the season. Okay, let's... I want to look at the... Okay, yeah, let's go. Infield. Override. That's not what we want. Yeah, infield alignment. I don't know. Yeah, we usually just leave it on automatic, but I'm going to switch it to standard. Maybe I just got to pay more attention to it because it just feels Swing like those base hits were right where guys should have been. But 
Anyways. The thing about Freddy, and there we go right there. You know, it's interesting about Freddy being really highly regarded top 100. I think he was closer to 50 before the season started. Then he had the, the injury right before the season started. And then he was ruled out for the year. But I remember talking to a former Miami player. It would have been the summer before the season, so last summer. And Freddie wasn't playing. It's not like he was shining in the cape. Or anything like that, where he was just automatically going to be one of those top guys. I, th I think you guys saw it. You know, you saw in flashes his first two years at Miami. It's in time for the out. Nice job of the infielder to take his... But, you know, there were the errors on defense. His numbers were good right on offense and really impressive. But, but it wasn't, again, it wasn't just his 15 home run season or anything crazy. I think he had six as a sophomore or something. But anyways, talk to former Found Miami pitcher. Right Daryl Roke that was pitching There's on a, a national championship team. Ball. That's the third out. When he was at UM. Fourth, it's Number 16 is hitting 382 on that 99 team. Runs. And one of the things that he said, he thought takes a he thought Freddie would be a top five pick. And again, this was after just his second season in the summer. Freddie's not playing the ground, at the time. The wasn't in the Cape. And wasn't with USA Baseball or anything like that. Nobody, I wasn't hearing anybody talking about that at that time and he said it oh my did he get an oh my goodness this guy's got terrible ratings i think he's like in the 50s and he just went yard number 17 is digging in okay so i know slade's his stamina is down there Five to two. Okay. It's at fifty nine percent. That's really low. I'm. Tr I want to keep him going. I. I don't know. I'm trying to weigh it back and forth this because the results aren't there. He's giving up big hits. Stamina is going down. Maybe it's time to give him the quick hook. But I. I just. It's draft day. Slade is a first balls, rounder. We got to leave strikes. him in here. Okay. This is not going well at all. Got to figure this out here. I don't want the game to get out of hand. Okay, there's an out right there. That's two outs. I don't want the game to get out of hand, but I still want to stay confident in them and just kind of see how this goes. I want to start using a slider. This fastball is really good. I kind of, maybe I was veering off a little bit on the off speed a little too much, but I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe just try to pump in fastballs. Now I'm having a hard time on the, because he's tired, I'm having a hard time lining it up. That's why it's, I'm throwing balls. And the bar's a lot faster, okay. There we go, that's three outs. 10 hits though, okay. But anyways, Daryl just thought he was a first round pick with Freddie and I, it was surprising and Ground ball to first. but then the more Flips over to first you kind of think about it and it, and then all of a sudden Number he pops up in the you know top 50 that's not fifth however the point is he certainly could have went from 50th to, to right a first side. rounder you would think with a good season Easy flip to first for the and I think that's what's going to be interesting with Freddie his decision and a breaking um, ball with where he gets picked or what he's telling teams and I don't know but I do know that there has to be some part of him thinking if he was healthy he could be a top first round pick next year did we get okay good man they've got I don't know what's going on but they got some arms out there or something just gets that hand in before the tag 
We're usually those are automatic ex doubles, but yeah, these guys are just pretty good players. Oh my goodness, Sabato! That was a crazy catch by him, the first baseman there for the Twins, and here he comes up again. Okay, we're gonna lock in on him. We have to. 55% stamina. I don't know if this is a bad idea. Oh my goodness. I just gave up a home run. Oh, Tony Jenkins. Okay. My goodness. Okay. We, we'll, we'll take it. A very loud out. All right, we'll take this one too. I think that's four outs in a row now. All right, Slade, show me what you got here. All right, there we go. That was somehow quick inning. Okay, Slade settling down maybe. Five straight outs. We'll take that. Okay, we got to get the offense going. We got to get the guys going here. Nice. We got to stay up. We won't stretch this one. We'll try and still second, though. We're not going to stretch it there, but... Yeah, I just think Freddie's going to be very interesting to watch with the draft. What he'll do. And I'll have an article on that on Inside the U where you guys can check out. Talk to Gino quite a bit about him because I, I find it very intriguing. There we go. We Got to send him. Got to send him. Get down. Get down. There we go. Nice, Jordan Lala. It's a good slide there. Slid it. Yep, here we go. Nice replay. All right, let's keep it moving, guys. Got to try to steal second. All right, get down. That's good. It's helping that they're, when they throw off speed first pitches, just with the, the time it takes for the ball to get to the plate, just that little split second. Oh, I probably should have swung it. Okay. He's out of there. The runner's going. Third. Yeah, and you guys have seen stealing third. I can do it with the fast guys. Oh, I needed that. But the problem is the way I, with the timing. Sometimes you don't get that good enough lead because it just seems like when there's a runner on third or on second, the pitcher's getting ready to throw it quicker. Oh, that's tough. Anyways, I, I got to time it. I just have to make sure I get my proper lead. And when I don't, I get thrown out. And then when I do, I usually can be safe. Got to get to second. That's a huge hit. That's going to be a double. There we go. Yeah, we got to slide in every time. 5-4, guys. Okay. I appreciate your support. Base hit. There we go. I wanted to go, but, man, he would have got thrown out by a mile. Base hit, though. Let's go. Everybody hits. Anthony Villar, that's huge. That's how you step in. See, he doesn't he doesn't care that he that he got a little bit of a break in the first game. Comes right in and delivers. All right, Isaac. Get through. It doesn't matter how hard you hit it. Just find a hole. Comes up with it and throws. Pitch down in the zone. I got Isaac in there. We don't have right-handed bats on the bench. Other than Isaac. With the lefty going, that's why I have him starting at DH. Oh, that's frustrating. I would have loved to have had a, just a two-run single right there. But anyways, we tied it up. I'm gonna stick with Slade. I know the stand I know the stamina bar is low. Okay, I need to right away to center field. Might have to put an end to that. They got guys warming up. Number sixteen is up next. I gotta get McFarlane warmed up. So it's interesting with the schedule. So it, we just had that three game Oh, well, it was three games against Clemson, but it was a doubleheader on Sunday. Yeah, we need it. yeah. Doubleheader on Sunday. 
the North Carolina two game series Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we have a typical. Maybe. I want to say the Duke series is next, but I don't know why. But for some reason, I think the series might start on Saturday. Maybe it's a Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. Okay. Hopefully he's okay. Throw him out, Villar. There we go. Is Sacconi okay? Number two is digging in. Okay. Looks like he's all right. Stamina at 50%. Usually I would already have taken him out. Trying to bunt his way on. Bundered at and missed. Staying confident. Loki want to get this guy a win. Show the Diamondbacks what he's got. This ball's headed for the gap in left center. I think and what you're seeing is you're seeing out. a bulldog Throw on the mound. Second. Gave up four runs in the first inning. Number 17 is up. One out of way to get through the six here. Got to keep the ball down. There we go. Fly ball. This that's how you. That's how you stay involved in a game, Carolina Slade Sacconi. Okay, we've got to let's let's go ahead and get our offense going. Here's a grounder okay, toward that, the left side of the infield. That's not what I had in mind. Makes the throw to first Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the 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 draft. We will do chat during it tomorrow. The second day of the draft, rounds two through five. Over to first. Again, I'll check out. I'll have articles. I have one on Freddie and also with the signees. Ground ball up the middle. There's definitely some names to watch. And not everybody knows the signees. It's not like with football recruiting or even basketball where it's a lot more well-known. So I definitely want to talk about those guys. Give you guys an idea of who to watch for when you're watching the draft, but got a piece of that back to the screen. And with the draft right here, Alex Terrell. He's a guy to watch for on day two. We need Alex to have a, There's a fly ball. Man, I stayed inside. Just couldn't the deliver. Over. Miami. Why not leave Slade in? Let's see what he's got here. Breaking ball strike on the outer edge. Definitely has settled in. Grounded okay, there we the go. Okay, base. Alex. Nice play on defense. He's been pretty good all season long. Yeah, Number I want to make sure this, the defense is set up right. Oh. Missed away with that breaking ball. There's a ground ball towards All right, there base. we go, Phil. Man, he's definitely the settling in. This has been big. Okay, get over there. You know, I definitely felt like this game was going to get away from me a little bit. But now that we've got it tied, can't worry about how we got here. Now it's, it's tied up in the eighth. This is where we've got to deliver. Okay. Kind of quick inning here. And maybe Villar can come through. That'll get through. That's like that base hit by Isaac. Not hit hard, but we'll take it for sure. He's on with a single. The Tar Heels okay, that's nice. We're going to a right-handed pitcher. Okay, so we got to make this switch like with Isaac. We got lefties on the bench. We got J.P. Gates, Jared Thomas, Tuero. I, I'm going to go Thomas, though. He had all those hits in the first game. The Hurricanes are Definitely need a base hit here. Two outs. Oh my goodness. For the hole. Throw to first. He's out. Okay. Miami leaves a man on That's disappointing. We're headed to the bottom of the Alright, well they're going to, they got Dylan left handed. We gotta throw in Carson. 
it was a great run by Slade. I would have loved to have given, give him that victory. The Hurricanes are making but we got we got to be smart. They got two lefties lefties coming up. Let's go ahead and make this move with Palmquist. I gotta I gotta use this slider a lot more than I've been using. Sometimes I'm mixing the curve, and I feel like that gets me in trouble a little bit because it's not as good of a pitch on here in this game. The slider is much better. There we go. Definitely want to just keep using that slider. Left. Throw to first, two down. Here's Grinch, their freshman catcher. Let's go ahead and finish him off. That'll do it. Wait, where's the. Okay, that... I didn't see the circle. That works, though. There we go. Three outs. Really good inning for Palm Quest. I like that. Okay, we've let's get. Oh, we got a new reliever here. Okay, top of the ninth, new reliever. It's a good move by the manager. Probably time for a fresh yarn. Whoa! Nice. That's huge. Because now we can steal with Jenkins. Number fifty-one is on with the single. Let's go ahead and lead off. I need to get the second. Get down. There we go. Great jump by the All right, we got to get a base hit. It's a short. He comes there we go. up with it. Over to first. We'll take That's it. In time for the out. We'll take it. There we go. One out. We just need a pot. We need a sack fly here, Freddie. One on, one out. Grounder to the third oh, baseman. He's up with it and the throw. Okay. The tag. I thought they were going to throw to first and I was going to try to run home. The runner goes. And then when you do that, Safe on the stolen base. The game, the game's like it doesn't. You can't just like quickly make like switch back. So that's why I just went ahead and went for it. The runner goes. And now I get a late jump. What a terrible sequence that is. Late jump, trying to make up for it. Just a late jump. That's what I was talking about earlier about that. If I don't get the the lead off quick enough, the pitcher tends to. It's not a quick pitch. It's just a little bit quicker than normal. And that's what it just caught me off there. Line drive crushed down the right field line. Caught me off guard, and that's disappointing because we had an opportunity to take the lead here in the ninth. But got to move past it. I got to get past it. I got to finish these guys off. Fastball on the corner. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, Palmquist, this is good for him. Again, I want him to have better results. Get that ERA down. Definitely want all these guys to have ERAs under five. That'd be the goal. Some of them are in the sixes and sevens. It's just, I think they're better than that. And I, Again, I've not pitched good late in games. Sometimes I might have a lead and not as focused or whatever it might be. I will say though that sometimes it's hard to get the timing down with the new pitcher and it's a little bit faster with the relievers because their pitches aren't as good. And I think that throws me off and they throw bad pitches, teams take advantage of it. That's happened a little bit too. But here we go, Carson's in a little bit of a groove. Again, trying to throw those sliders in and then mixing in the fastball. All right, Del Castillo, this is a good spot. This one lofted the straightaway left. The outfielder racing after it and makes Unable the to get a hit. All right, Terrell. 0 for 4. We need a base hit. We're on the top of the tent. I've played some extra inning games this year. Not going to stress about it. Just trying to take advantage of situations. Hit out to right. Hangs in the air long enough for a play. And comes up with it for the out. All right, Gabe Rivera, two for four. Let's go, Gabe. Oh, my goodness. Those two flyouts are, are pretty disappointing. 
three up and three it's not down. lining up there on the the breaking balls all right, Valdez. Third, over to first. Okay, there we go. In time for yeah, the Carson's out. in the groove. Yeah, yeah I'm going to keep throwing those. Inside corner for a strike. Strike. Oh, and two. I remember earlier, I, I noticed... A few games ago, I noticed Miami home games. They had the number on the back of the hats. I just kind of noticed this road game here. Carson doesn't have his 14 up there. Okay, one, two. I got to finish them. I want to try to get them to chase. Nice. What a pitch. Right on the corner. I was hoping he would chase, but he caught the corner. Called strike three. Okay, we got to get Sabato out here. Oh my goodness, 98 and 99 ratings against a lefty. I don't know if this is smart. I shouldn't. I wonder if I should. I'm just going to try pitching him around him. I'm thinking about an intentional walk. I'm thinking about bringing in a right-hander. But I like that Palmquist has done well. I just can't leave anything over the plate. This guy can go yard at any moment. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to keep it out of the zone against him. I don't mind walking him here. Okay. So we go two outside, you know, look like outside of the zone. Now we got, you know, all we do is need one more strike. If I can get him to chase. Oh, man. Okay, 2-2 two, two count. Again, I'm just trying to get him to chase on strike three here. We've got to set it out of the zone. Ball. Breaking ball misses in for a ball. Three two count. I don't want to. I don't want to give in and throw a strike. I'm not gonna. I, I'll. I got to keep it out. Three balls, two strikes. Okay, foul He's ball. He's really making the pitcher work here. And Dylan's up next, and he's a left-handed batter. I'd like to keep Carson in here. I, I can't. Uh. Three and two. Oh my Tires goodness! What a huge pitch by Carson one, Palmquist. Two, Swung on and missed for the slider three, gets him on strike three. Sabato struck. Swung and missed at three pitches in the at bat. Okay, we've got to take advantage of that. That's huge momentum. We have got to take advantage of that. All right, Valdez. Oh, that's a good. That's okay. Okay, we got to we got to get base hits. Somebody's got to get on. Villar. Okay, two hits. Let's make it three. Stay in. Oh, that was so close. Throw that that lollipop. Oh, that might drop. The outfielder looks like he has oh, that dropped. Back. Okay, we'll take it. Has another base hit. Okay, Villar's speed. I need to see. Maybe we'll do a pinch runner here. I need to see. So 71 speed. Okay, 79 for Crosby. That's our best. Our fastest guy on the bench. We'll make that move here. We got to try and steal second. We got to get a run across. The Hurricanes are making a substitution. They probably know I'm going to try to steal, but I've got to, I've got to do it. I've got to get to second. Great move by the head coach. Yeah, they know. They know the I'm trying it. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, the pickoff play almost worked okay. that time. Runner goes. Get down. Okay, there, nice Chad Crosby. I kind of want to steal third. I know it's risky though. This ball's headed for the gap in the left center. Wait, did that? Throw to third. That dropped. I don't know what happened. Okay, we'll Runners take it. First and third, and there's one away. We'll definitely take it. Nice hitting by Jared Thomas. We need a base hit here. Nice, Tony right. Jenkins. We moved him up to the starting, the leadoff spot this run. game, and he's came up big. I don't think he had a hit the first game. Yeah, we got. 
I want to get Fetterman ready. And 27 RBIs. Oh my goodness. That's going to drop. Oh, everybody run. Okay, this is let's get our cleats. Come on, sponsor. I forgot about that. Triple, 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 triple. Oh my goodness, we got the new cleats? I didn't even realize what was going on. I forgot about that. Jordan Lala got the squad new cleats. That's crazy. And we have got this big lead. Is that going to drop? Okay, we got to go. Get in there. Oh my goodness. We've gotten thrown out too much this game from the outfielders. Uh, if he would have slid... Okay. That's okay. Jordan Lala was huge. Got the squad new cleats. We've got an 8-5 lead. Bottom of the 11th. I kind of want to leave Palmquist in here. Face on left-handed batter. But I feel good with the lead. That's definitely a good thing right here. Number three is digging in. Maybe we'll just see how this goes. There's a fly ball. Okay. The left fielder Sweet. going for it. Oh my goodness. Dives. I didn't know which outfielder to be. Almost got that first, diving catch. And there's nobody out. Another left handed batter. That's why I want to keep him in here. Okay, turn that. Why is Chad? Oh, I forgot to take him out. That's a terrible throw. Oh my, somehow we got a double play, but Chad Crosby's not supposed to be in there. I got to take him out. Okay, we got two outs and the right-handed batter. Let's, we got to sub all these guys out here. Get Crosby out. That was one heck of a play. That guy came up huge with the pinch run, the stolen base, and he turned two, doesn't play second base. He's an outfielder. And that's why his throwing was all crazy. Let's get Fetterman in here. Fouled we just need one more out. This would be a great win. That'll do it. Run. Yep, Tyler Page. And that will do I like it. it. Man, game. that's huge. That's exciting. Down 4-0 in the first. The Slade battles score. back. The Miami this squad gets some big Carolina runs. We went 8-5. to five, loss, Sweep the Tar Heels. The Tar Heels. Big time. That was good stuff. We've got a big series against Duke coming up. Definitely one. Just keep this thing going. You guys got to hit that like button. It's a huge help. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. That's the goal. Hashtag ITU10K. We are going to get it. We'll keep pushing. Thanks for watching. And definitely, again, check out InsideTheU.com. Plenty of articles on the draft, the baseball team, plenty of stuff going on. And you can find me on Twitter at InsideTheU.